When we decided it was gonna be a woman, we wanted Robin to be a young woman who lives in the projects. They live at the corner of Sherwood and Forest, which for the Toronto people watching this, I really based a lot of that language on Jane and Finch, right? We have this neighborhood out here, then Jane and Finch, are you from Jane and Finch? Growing up, was, you heard a lot of talk about Jane and Finch, but being from Jane and Finch doesn't mean you're directly on the corner of Jane and Finch. It encompasses the entire neighborhood. So they'll say the Jane and Finch community. So Robin lives in the Sherwood and Forest community, right? They're at the corner of Sherwood and Forest or the Sherwood Towers. So she's in the projects. All right, well, there is a little bit of race involved in that, to be very realistic. In Canada and in England, yes, there are a lot of white families that live in public housing. But it makes sense to say, all right, we want a black or Latina to play this role. So we opened it up. We saw black women, mixed race women, Latinas. And then Jesse Romeo, who's a Canadian on her mother's side, uh, got the role. You know, she just, she had it. She had everything we're looking for. Then the rest of the crew, when we wrote it, I'm going to be very honest, I wrote it like a young adult show. It was going to be a multicultural group of kids. There was going to be, uh, Robin could be black or Latina. She ended up being black. Cool. Uh, we always thought, we thought Little John would be black. We thought much would be black or mixed race. Uh, we thought Alan would be white, and we thought Tuck would be Latino, and they're written in the script that way. Then we're seeing all these actors, and Idrissa comes in for Alan, and he just not only has this look and the, this charm, just this likability, and we said, we, let's go with him. Y'all ready? Let's go! You ready? Do it. Make some noise, baby! So now Alan becomes black, and Tuck, Jonathan comes in, he's just, he's got the look, he's got the sense of humor, he's got the charisma as well, he's got that thing. That's because you only see the meat. One day my mind will arise to a plane of pure logic. So now Tuck is black. So I was there saying, all right, um, well, let's, uh, let's make Little John white. And we came in, we had, a, we had a chemistry test, we had a white actor, a black actor, and then Nakeem, who's mixed race, black, um, and... Nakeem won it. Again, the look, the charm, the just that thing. So it organically grew into all the merry men were black. The same thing on the sheriff's side. John Prince, we did say we wanted him to be white. And the reason we wanted that to be is because he was, in the original legend, Prince John is literally a prince. So he has lineage of being, he's old money. So we wanted to play homage to that old money and the reality of North America is unless you're white, you aren't part of the old money train. So uh, Prince John became that. I think one of the easy things for us to have done would be make him a kind of Donald Trumpish kind of character. I decided to make him Richard Branson. And then the sheriff, we saw all races again. We saw black, we saw Asian, we saw, we saw every single race. But Kira nailed it. She just had what we needed the sheriff to be, and she's terrific. So then our two main villains became white, and our main bad guys became black. It wasn't how we walked into it. And if you're looking at the show through that lens, you know, where you're angry and want to hate the show, well, then you're going to start talking that way. But it organically became that thing.